With the recent update to Caden Live, it's now possible to have advanced substation alpha subtitles in Caden Live. Now, that opens up a whole new field of subtitle styles that you can use on individual subtitle blocks. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to create reusable styles that you can use for different subtitle blocks. You can easily save them so that you can reuse them over and over again to maintain the style of your subtitles that you're creating for your videos. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I already have uh, a video and the respective SRT subtitle file, this particular SRT. And I'm going to use the SRT subtitle file instead of the ASS subtitle file. And I'll begin by just dragging and dropping my video right inside here inside the project pin and then just drag and drop it uh, right there. So our video is ready. The next option is to import our subtitle. I'll just go to project, subtitles, import subtitle, and navigate to the folder with the subtitle I want. Now to do that, I'll just click on this particular open dialog and navigate to the folder with the subtitle that I want. Click on it, click on open. Now, Right here, you'll see a bunch of options uh, like the subtitle file, that is more or less the URL or uh, the uh, source, the encoding. And you have a bunch of options where you can, if it's not clearly triggered, because by default, it, it, it res resets the encoding to UTF-8. If you have a specific encoding, then you can set that right inside there. You can see the subtitle preview, and also you can import a timeline cursor position if that's what you want, but I'll leave it as it is. And you can also transform the frame rate from whatever you have here to this. Now, because this subtitle has the time codes, I'll leave it as it is, and I know it corresponds to my video. So if you're satisfied with everything, just click on OK. Now, we want to create reusable styles in Caden Live. Now, as you can see, if I click on one uh, subtitle here, there is no styling or anything, but you, when you look at here, you'll see that the default style is the default. So the style is default and you can click on this to edit the style right inside here to whatever you want it to be. There's also another preview option here to see how that particular uh, option looks like. Now, the default style that you're seeing right here has no background. So if I click on this and click on outline, you'll get a black outline and you can adjust the outline to be a little bit bigger. And this is the color code for the outline. Now I'll click on that and maybe let's say we go with something else, something like that, and then click okay. And that is what it looks like. Let's click okay. And now right there, our default style has that particular uh, look and feel. So. Our SRT subtitle files now have a style of sorts. They do have a background uh, and a background color and so on and so forth. And you can make adjustments to everything that you're doing here. Change the font. Let's say you want your font to be uh, more or less, let's say we go with something like Helvetica. Uh, let's say we go with that, click OK. And then you can change the font size. And also showing preview is really good because Let's say we adjust this to 80. Uh, you can easily see that once uh, you kind of click out, you can see uh, how it goes. You can also adjust using the top down and you can be able to see how big your subtitle text is going to look like. So let's assume that's what we've done with the default right there, right there. Now, I want us to create some reusable styles. There are three ways to manage our subtitle styles. And you can just click on this three on uh, this drop down, click on manage subtitles. It's going to take you to this particular page or dialog box. You can also, when a subtitle is selected, you can click on this drop down and then click on manage styles and then create your new styles and so on and so forth. Or you can just come to project, subtitles, manage subtitle. I'm doing all that to show you that there are three ways to get to the styles feature. Now, by default, this is what we have. This is what we've kind of created from this particular section. 
but let's say we want to add a new style and the new style is probably be going to be called let's say we go Arial 80 the font Arial and then we give it uh, 80 size 80 and you can actually pull up this and then we are going to give it a background and then add some few points to the outline good job and then uh, we can say let's assume the alignment for this is top right there at the top so uh, for any subtitle that you think might be obscuring any lower third graphics right here then you can use this particular style aerial 80 style you can call it top to always know what it reflects and if you're satisfied click ok and now you can see your styles here there's this one and this one so I'll close that let's assume I'm looking at this particular subtitle and I want it to be up here so I'll just click on it and then come to the styles just click on the drop down and go to aerial 80 top if I click on that that is what it looks like come to the next one you'll see it looks like this it looks it looks like this just select it let's say we go with aerial 80 top that's what we have so you can have a bunch of styles right inside your subtitles and they are reflecting right inside here in real time so you can easily mix up uh, the styles so that you can save let's assume uh, improve on movement uh, in terms of how do your subtitles look depending on what you want them to portray and and all those kind of things and obviously you can always edit let's say you wanted it to be bold and so on and so forth you can save uh, all those kind of things uh, as you want them to be so you can see everything as you make the changes so always remember to show the preview so that you can see what your subtitles look like and this particular box here allows you to even add more text for example uh, this this is what my subtitles look like so you can always see how many kind of characters uh, can fit here and so on and so forth I wish there was a way to have like a character counter right inside here but simply put that is how you can create reusable styles and use them in different subtitle blocks in your video in Caden Live. super awesome super easy to work with and i hope this video is of value to you thank you so much for watching and until next time stay safe and never stop learning